Oh my God. Oh my God. One Piece chapter 1044 is out and it is breaking the internet. Oh my God. My phone is blowing up. Let's get, let's, let's just get straight into it. Let's get straight into it. So, real quick, let's start with the cover page. Uh, EG and EG, they're about to get sliced open by a little girl. I guess Oven dropped them off and they're gonna get tortured. Good for them. All right, cool. Let's get straight into the chapter. The chapter begins with Luffy's inner thoughts. He's saying, what's happening? How can I still stand? I lost, but I feel like I'm having a blast. And, and we hear the drums of I guess the drums of liberation. We hear it going on in the background. Zunisha hears it. Even Momo hears it. And he's looking up and he's saying, Luffy is Joy Boy. And Yamato's like, did Zunisha say that? So they've come to the realization that yes, Luffy is Joy Boy. In the pleasure hall, Sanji, who was formerly knocked out after his fight with Queen, he gets up and he's like, Luffy? On the live floor. Kid and Law and Hyogoro are all like, what is happening? Everybody's looking up. Marco's looking up. If you've got any semblance of observation hockey right now, your observation hockey is going off right now. It must be like a buzzer from out of the 80s, yo. It is going crazy. So Marco's telling Nami and Tama, yo, stop crying. Luffy, he's alive. So we cut to Pangea Castle for the five elders they're, they're having a discussion they're saying that one of them saying that yo we sacrificed one of our best agents and we just pissed off kaido are we sure we got our priorities straight and they respond and they're saying listen it's better than the alternative like this is a real problem and here we see the bald guy he says, no matter the era, the world government has always tried to acquire the gomu gomu fruit. Even after 800 years of trying, they can't do it. It's almost as if the fruit itself is evading us. And then the long haired guy said, well, you know, that's not impossible. All zone fruits have a will of their own. And this one carries the name of a god. Holy sh After all, the Gomu Gomu fruit is really the mythical zone. It's the human human fruit model Nika. Luffy's fruit confirmed. And then he goes on to say, it's the user's body that gains the properties of rubber in combat. They're supposedly only limited by their imagination, putting smiles on the faces far and wide. There are the embodiment of the warrior of liberation sun god nika awakening exponentially strengthens their rubbery body and they have even more freedom it is agility okay so let's stop right there let's pause right there oda please so you mean to tell me that he basically took everybody's theories not only is the fruit still rubber but it's a zone fruit as well like <laughs> Only Oda can do this. Only Oda can take everybody's theories and make everybody right and everybody wrong at the same time. I love One Piece. All right, moving on. So we actually go from here. We cut to the treasury and we see that Kiori still has Orochi pinned down under a rock. And Orochi's trying to be his extra sniveling self he's trying to you know butter up kiori and try to get out of it but she's not really having it she's telling him listen you owe the samurai and you spat in their face she said odin actually kept his promise he danced for five long years he didn't even tell us what was going on and then after that he survived the burning oil and then you betrayed him you did not keep your word odin did of course, Orochi, he's going to try any which way to try to get out of it. So he's saying, no, he actually admired Odin and it was Kaido that actually used him. Of course, Hiyori is not having that. She thinks about her memories of Odin. She thinks about her memories of her father and she eventually gets pissed off. She tosses the mask and we see her. She's sobbing. She's so angry. And 
the fact that she has Orochi right here in front of her, she can't even hold back her emotions. And she actually bucks up and says, hold your tongue, you miserable wretch. I am Kozuki Hiori, which <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I guess I wasn't expecting that. So I don't know. Maybe there's a sword behind the shaman said Oda, if you're listening. From here, she tosses the mask and she she always hated Orochi. She actually explains it right here in this panel that every day Orochi was Shogun was one day too long. And she's been planning this from the day that she was covered in rags. So from here, Orochi kind of realizes his fate and we actually see a little semblance of the Kazembo that Kanjiro made and he actually pops out from under a rock and Orochi's like, wow, this is perfect timing. Kazembo's like, Lord Orochi, I failed. And Orochi's like, yo, nah, this is great timing. And he starts getting back to his regular old pompous self and he's telling, burn her to death. Burn her to death, Kanjiro. This is your final act. And I don't know, Kanjiro, I guess Kanjiro is really on death's door because it looks like he floats over to Orochi and gives Orochi a big ol' hug. <laughs> and ends up burning Orochi instead. So now, not only is Orochi being crushed, he can't transform into a Zorn form, but now Kanjiro is burning him. He's actually really just trying to show him some love, so. <laughs> Shout out to Kanjo. It's your final act to burn Orochi. Of course, he already says the dawn will come. So from here, we cut back, continue to hear the drums of liberation. And Luffy jumps into the sun again, or maybe the moon. And we see he looks just like Sun God Nika here. He says, I feel like anything's possible now. I can keep fighting a bit longer. My heartbeat sounds funny. This is my peak. This is gear fifth and we hear a crackle and boy once we hear that crackle conqueror's hockey starts going everywhere bro this man has conqueror's hockey for days we see this big panel like yo the conqueror's hockey is taking over the whole entire building so everybody's still very confused even kaido's like you guys and kaido looks up and he sees the conqueror's hockey coming off that building and even he looks shook this is the first time we've seen kaido he don't look too good he's saying listen we need conqueror's hockey to beat each other but bro i don't want no part of this before he can even react luffy's hand breaks through the roof and grabs kaido and yeets this man out of there yo people don't know what's happening he lifts kaido back up to the roof slams him into the ground i mean it looks hilarious because the fruit awakening is just ridiculous right it, it's just oda's drawing it to make it seem even more over the top he's swinging Luke, he's swinging kaido around like it's acme hour cartoon right and as hilarious as it is, we know Kaido's getting his ass whooped, right? You know what I'm saying? Like the, the Nika Nika Fruit Awakening is the equivalent to Luffy turning into like Freakazoid, if y'all have ever seen that cartoon. Like it's just the ridiculousness is over the top. Luffy's kicking Kaido's ass. He's having a great time. He's having the time of his life. He's laughing, he's shouting, he's having a party. Kaido is like, yo, I'm happy that you found this new power because I didn't want the fight to end the way it did. And he sends a borrow breath at Luffy right now. So we see Luffy, he actually looks like he's falling back, but instead he does like a somersault, grabs the ground, lifts it up. And of course his fruit is awakened. So anything that he touches turns to rubber. It bounces off the ground. The borrow breath bounces off the ground and reflects directly at Kaido. And from here, we cut to our final panels. I mean, yo, these panels look so funny. Like he's got his eyes popping out of his head. I mean, Luffy is having a grand old time. And we cut to the final panel and we see Luffy's full body gear fifth. He's got smoke, his hair looks like he's on fire. And for those of you that don't know, for all my artists out there, this is actually reminiscent of one of the oldest drawings that Oda drew of Luffy. So I might put that up in the video but Kaido apologizes he said yo I'm sorry about that idiot before I did not want the fight to end like that and Luffy's like don't sweat it now let's finish this no break next week 
and it says the battle reaches its finale we have a full color spread next week i don't even know what to say um let me just come out the gate and say this is a 10 out of 10 because we've been waiting like 25 years for this <laughs> let me stop let me stop but yo this chapter is absolutely insane let me know in the comment section if you watch the video make sure to leave a comment Make sure to like. How did you feel about this chapter? Luffy Gearfist, he is Sun God Nika. It's a mythical zone. He's still a rubber fruit. It's not a Joy Boy possession. Like so many theories were debunked and so many theories were right all at the same time. Oda is the GOAT. He's the greatest manga of all time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.